Yes, also some. This is name in the name of Wallace. Enough is Wallacey, Polynema Wallacey. And again, Euritoma, Euritamide family, Euritoma, Euritoma Lincolni, Polynema, Polynema idea, Lincolni. Okay. Many species. Oh, why? Well, here, Honatacerus Lamarki, Huxley, Honatacerus Huxley, Helmholtzi, Heracliti. Man. Oh, about this time about scientists. Schleideni, Schleideni, Swifty, in the honor of Swift, Polynema Mendeli, even a Lincoln, Lincoln Lanna Malpighi, Lincoln Lanna Malpighi, by the ratings. Always about different philosophical names. Eupelmus Homeri. Opermus Homeri, Cocophagus Horatii, Cocophagus Horatii, Colosoma Gerodotti, or Ophilosia Horatii. All about some writers and poets. poets. Eurishihia. Melancholica, Eurishiche Melancholica, or oh, Stomatocerus Metherlinki, Stomatocerus Metherlinki, Euritoma Metherlinki, Coxinof Xenus Magellani. Oh, yes, about the music again. Finally, Mozart music. Music is combined in genera name and Species name Mozartella bithovini, Mozartella bithovini, Prospaltella bithovini, Polynema schumani, Polynema schumani. Is it interesting name? Really? I was this not the name of name of a Spinoza? Anafi Spinozai, Insirtus Spinozai, Honatocerus Spinozai. What's about Shakespeare? Shakespeare, Shakespeare also very famous one. You see here, Eupelmus, Eupelmus Shakespeare, Eupelmus Shakespeare, Eupelmide, Eurishichia Shakespeare, and Goetheana, Goetheana, Eu Lafide was Shakespeare. Well, I guess this is good enough about the names. I can finish. The article about Alexander Giro. Uh, what's about Alexander Giro? He published it also in honor of different people, like about, and also in the honor of his children. Even fi financial and publishing problems of Alexander Giro didn't stop him from continuing his work. About a third of it, his taxa was described and were published without his own, on his own funds in privately published papers. They were often very brief, very poorly printed, and were given away free to a very few institutions and fellow specialists working with Hymenoptera. Despite this, Giro's works is still considered valid by current taxonomists because of his careful preparations of a type specimens which were deposited to the scientific museums. Most of these type specimens were later donated to the Queensland Museum in Australia. From when they will still be observed to these days, where you can find them. However, Alexander Giro died before he could complete his final great work, a monograph of Australian Calcid Wasp, which was started in 1917. The bulk of his work and his type specimens were later re-examined in a Queensland museum by curator of entomology Edward Dams in 1970s. Edward Dams published a special book with 
together with Dr. Gorf, we've compiled papers of Alexander Arzone, and also they published a checklist of Australian calcid wasps. The Giro had started in the area of entomology, and this area of entomology study of calcid wasps was forgotten later after Giro death. But later, many scientists studied calcid wasps in Australia. And also, uh, Edward Dams published three volumes, three volumes of checklists of Australian calcid wasps. And Zdenek Bojic, another entomologist who was living in United Kingdom, he published also Australian calcidoidea, calcidoidea a huge 900, 900 pages book about taxonomy, systematics with identification keys and many beautiful pictures of Calcido wasps of Australia. So this was history after the Alexander Giro. Many taxa were named in honor of a Giro, for instance, like Lutarchia Giro was named by Indian scientist Subarao in 1974 paper, and many others also named new species in the name in the honor of Alexander Giro. This was my uh, reading the story about biography of Alexander Giro, and the second part of a stream, another stream will be devoted to the reading of some interesting poetry. But nevertheless, I will read one interesting poetry here because I like it very much because it's this poetry devoted to North American Hymenoptera Trichogrammatidae, which I am studying, Trichogrammatidae family. And here there is a special small poem devoted to the Trichogrammatidae. I will read it with great pleasure. Alexander Giro. Lilliputs of the insect tribe, yet to be to me giants of a creation. What wonders do with thee abide? How humble is thy station. Though so tiny and fragile, thou art so strong and agile. Art been perfect as the bee, <coughs> nothing bigger lives, lives to me. Doth man give these up for, for lost, hidden as thou art almost? Could he see the pretty thing? He would give his agate ring and knee all that he possessed. Would not he in this be blessed? <coughs> For with thee he had found his soul and become a man in whole. This is a story about Alexander Arzone, entomologist from the United States of America who lived and was working for a long time, for a long time period in Queensland museum in Australia. I was very pleased to read some articles about him and his poetry. I will continue the next stream about his poetry, reading some articles from this book, and I hope so. It will be also interesting, and I invite you to visit my channel, where I can read different stories about entomology, entomologist in English, and also in Russian, for Russian-speaking audience, because I see Many Russian-speaking audience visited my channel and wrote me here different questions in Russian. Nevertheless, I promise to continue my streams in Russian as well. So I hope so. I intrigued you in the biography of Alexander Arzone, Giro, famous prolific calcid <coughs> worker entomologist who studied calcid wasps. And this cut it was, you can see behind of me in the background.
welcome to study them, welcome to collect them, and welcome to put them to the collection of your museum or send it to our museum in Institute of Zoology of National Academy of Sciences in Kiev, Ukraine. We will be very much interested to study them, especially in the smallest Trichogrammatidae family, the family which I am studying. If you have questions about small, tiny calcid wasps, especially family Trichogrammatidae and the genus Trichogramma, write in comments, ask your questions. I will be really welcome and pleased to answer for your questions. Looking forward to see you on my channel again. Who is visiting my channel first time, welcome to subscribe and press on the bottom on the bell. Good luck and see you soon on my channel. Bye-bye.